Obviously, Neil, uh, you know, you're good players. You know they're going to play well. But what players, you know, maybe off the pace a little bit that you think maybe got some chance during the course of the year to play some senior football? As you know, every team, you've, you've got to be prepared to change for the next year. So there, there will be players who come into the side who haven't necessarily been there for the last couple of years. But it's just a matter of how quickly they come in, I would have thought. You've got guys competing for the same position. They're super competitive, which is good, and I love how respectful they are with each other. They compete and give each other fat lips and blood noses and all that sort of stuff on the field, but you know, they always shake hands and support each other and show a lot of gratitude, and it's really admiring and inspiring. So I think that competition, and because of our strong culture, it helps people improve and it, it's better for the club, better for the team and, and also better for them because they'll enjoy their footy. My first match was against Melbourne in the JLT. Junior footy, I've got a pretty big frame, but getting against the big boys, you sort of matched it with them a little bit there. So I guess I had to sort of find other ways to beat them in terms of the strength. But yeah, it was a pretty big learning curve. Something I really look back on with a bit of optimism, knowing that I can take take some notes and make sure I can take that when I get my next opportunity into the next game. You know, it's, it's always nice to walk off the field a winner rather than a loser. Whilst there'll be elements of the game that we'll be disappointed and review quite thoroughly, um, there was also some really, really good signs. Even though it is the JLT, I know it's really important for our fans to be able to sing the song after the game and really get behind us, which is, is great momentum going into the season proper. We don't ever focus on the win, whether that be pre-season or in the season. We focus on the process and it comes back to structure and guys fulfilling their roles within our team and that's all we can really focus on. But you no, know, we just have a special group of guys, whether that be the older guys or the younger guys, and we all complement each other really well. I guess that connection that all the boys have, we all truly do love each other and it's something that I think reciprocates on the field and the love shown in the, in the changing rooms really is shown out in the ground with, with the results and the previous success. The, the competition at the moment with all the younger boys, they're all pushing the older boys, the older boys are trying to hold their spot and push themselves. It's, it's a very friendly but competitive atmosphere and I think that's what we love and what we strive for. We're having fun but we're working as hard as we can and we're getting each other through which is the main thing. Listen, we've got some run in our legs. Uh, our preparation is, is complete now from the pre-season. We're playing some reasonable football without being over the top. I, I look back at last year and maybe I think we were a little bit too advanced at this time of year. And you know, this year we're probably not quite to the level that we were, but we've got some work to do and you know, we're reasonably happy to walk away with a, 
you know, a win tonight and some really positive performances with some of our players. Team selection is going to be a really interesting one. I'd, I'd hate to be a coach going into round one. Um, you know, the, the consistency of performance across the whole team and even the way our VFL team have been performing over the last few weeks have been really impressive. So, you know, it's a good issue to have. I think one of the best bits of advice I got was your career's a battle of persistence and you've got to keep persisting and it's never going to be perfect. You're going to have probably more downs than ups and you remember them both because that's how you learn and you enjoy getting yourself out of the downs. So yeah, it's going to be tough, but we provide a lot of support to the players at this football club, which is fantastic in a whole range of areas from football to life and friendship. There'll be some saddened boys when it comes to selection uh, leading into round one but the greatest thing about our, our club now is that they go back and play in the same system granted at VFL level but we continue to grow our bonds stronger and support each other whether that be at VFL, AFL, VFLW. Pre-season game's over, obviously. Countdown to round one's on. What do you take away from those JLT matches so far? Yeah, thank God uh, pre-season is over again. That's 13th season down. So yeah, it is over. Now we're focusing obviously on, on the season ahead. Um, you know, we, we've ticked off a few boxes that we want. We, we still feel like we've got a few uh, bit more room, room, room for improvement, but uh, we don't want to be at the top of our game just yet. You know, it is a pre-season cup and we want to uh, work for something greater and bigger, hopefully down, down the track. Season launch, guys, 2019. It's been a great night. People here, it's going to be awesome. Stay tuned. <laughs> There's a great sense of excitement and anticipation as we prepare for the opening bounce against the Carlton at the G next Thursday night. Our players worked incredibly diligently throughout the pre-season to be in the best possible shape to tackle the challenges they'll encounter throughout the 2019 season. When I think of this challenge, I'm taken back to a recent visit to the stunningly beautiful Yosemite National Park in California. Within the park, there's a famous vertical rock formation called El Capitan. I found myself at the bottom of this sheer wall, staring in disbelief that anyone could possibly contemplate firstly climbing the beast, let alone actually achieving the task. It reminded me of the journey in front of us to an AFL Premiership and the season that now approaches. There are distinct parallels between our journey in 2019 and what climbers face in their quest to conquer El Capitan. The summit never moves. It's always there. But it's the process in order to get to the summit that requires immense thought and concentration. For the climbers, it's all about concentrating on what you are doing right here, right now. For us as a team, it is a similar approach to achieving our goal in 2019. Staying totally focused in the moment and not being distracted by anything else. It is believing in your strengths as an individual and our strengths as a team. It is also about enjoying what we do and more importantly, who we are. It will also require plenty of work, determined dedication and the calmness under the most intense pressure we've seen. If we can do that and the summit will be within our reach in season's end, understand as a unit we will be hard to beat, fun to watch and proud to be Richmond men like those in this room tonight. This is who we are and this is what we do. The first challenge comes Thursday night. Bring a smile, enjoy the climb in 2019, go Tigers.